I've been trying to work out the pins on this uh, super light, keyway super light. I've been having a look at the wiring diagram and on this particular one it's a six pin. There's a pickup coil, power and ground. Which one is it which on the connector I don't really know. So that's one ground. We've got a second ground here, so we know we've got two grounds. The output to the coil and to the rev counter. So that's about it really. Input, I think these are the incoming lives, but it seems to be from the alarm system, one splits into two. Now on most CDIs, that top one's the kill switch, so I can't really figure that one out, but that's the power. Whether it's getting direct alternator current or 12 volt DC, I don't know, so. But the top two should be either pickup coil or ignition coil or the other way around. And the bottom two are grounds. But you can only test these for shorts anyway, so. Yeah, this on this power through the alarm, that also has got your stand switch involved as well. So sometimes the kill switch might be linked in with your stand switch, but on this one it ain't. It goes to the alarm, alarm powers the CDI, then you've got your spark plug CDI discharge there, pickup coil doing the timing obviously. And that's about all there is. So basically all you can test is for shorts, so might as well take them off. Switch to continuity. So these two are shorted because they two grounds. So I'm just gonna leave one in there. Basically, because we don't really know which is which, just test them all to ground and make sure none of them are shorted. So, and swap over to the next ground. So, that looks like a good CDI. Obviously, it could be shorted in the open position though, so, but mainly they do short, short. They could fail open, so that would test out well as well, so. That's the dead test. If you still can't find out if it's working or not, you've got to do your live test to make see if there's a signal leaving to the spark and the uh, rev counter. So, I'm just learning about these myself, so that's all I know so far. That's pretty much how I think this one's wired up, but I could be wrong on these and these, but it don't matter, you just got to test between ground and all four pins, ground and all four pins. And that should tell you whether you've got a short, a direct short to ground, which is all you can test for on these anyway, so.